What's going on, Rick? Hey, how's it going? It's great. Yeah, we should be on. People should be trickling in, I hope. Okay, maybe we'll just wait a little bit and maybe start at like sure. two ten, probably. Yep. But it's I don't think it won't take it won't take me an hour. One, I get too nervous, <laughs> and two, I'll just streamline it. Very cool. And we can also say we also record and save it, so it's fine. Oh, nice. Very good. So I won't say anything inappropriate about Josh. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> no, it's also good for us to have for like in case agents need um assistance. I can just send them your video, you know. Yeah, of course. Did we record the first one or no? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I'll have to go and look for it and I'll send it to you if I have it. No, that's all right. This one will be better. I was really nervous. That was my first ever video. Yeah, it's kind of nerve-wracking at first. I know. Maybe it'll be funny to watch. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Hey, I heard you. Uh, I was in the other room. I was just uh, walking back to my computer. Welcome. How's your day going? Good, good. It's been kind of busy, but good. Yeah, it's crazy right now, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. Every time I try to take a nap, the phone rings. So there you go. Must be nice to try to take a nap. Yeah, I don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> You want it live on Facebook, Rick? What is it? You want to go live on Facebook? I don't know that I've ever done that. Whatever you need is fine with me. Okay, cool. Yeah, live on Facebook. It saves Link, it. man, what's up? How's it going, man? Look at that beard, man. You're winter ready. Hey, that's what it is. Yeah, you nailed it, dude. Just trying to stay warm. Oh, it's also November. No shave November. Yeah. It's winter time. Exactly. Everything's happening. <laughs> cool. I, I saw your text just now. I just wanted to. I just wanted to come check in. Yep, we're good. I'm, Alfredo's on it. Yep, he's on it. Very cool. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna hop off. I gotta take care of a couple things, but I'll. I'll jump on. Uh, probably like midway through here. No worries. I appreciate you. All right, Thank thanks, you. Guys. People watching us on Facebook. Yeah, we're gonna get you up right now. So it's going live. Let's go on there too, because people go and browse on there and it saves it too, just in case this recording doesn't work as we have it somewhere else. Okay. Cool. You you just start. tell me when to start, I guess. Whenever you're ready to go. People trickle in or not, but I just want to at least get you like more used to like, having the so Google Drive. Cool. The class Sean, this is this is your class, man. I like a one on one, yeah. Just for, no this is just for you, man. Okay. Well, other people will come and watch it later. Hi, everyone. My name's uh, Rick Ryan, and I'm an agent in the office. I've been with uh, the Beverly Hills office for a, a little over a year now. I transferred from the Larchmont office. Um, so I love being here, and I love you guys, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to teach this class. Um, I'm basically just going to walk through um, uploading documents uh, through command, and I'm going to do it under the uh, purview of a lease. And I'm going to show you how to do for the tenant and the landlord documents as we're doing uh, dual representation. We're, just for this example, I'm going to do it like we're representing both sides. And then I'm going to show you how to upload and submit your documents for compliance so that uh, Michael can check off on everything and you guys can get paid, which is uh, the second best thing after making our clients happy. So I shared in the chat a link uh, to our master folder. And the way that I do my leases is I first um, access the lease checklist. And then I just make sure that I've got all of those documents gathered and ready before I even really dump everything into command. I work through getting everything fully executed 
And then once I have everything, I will then upload it to command and then submit it. And then that's when I, a couple of days later, I'll go pick up my check. Um, you need to uh, upload your listing agreement though within 72 hours after you have it signed. So I'll do that to open the opportunity. And then um, after the uh, lease has been completed, I've got all the cashier's checks and everything. Then I'll kind of do everything into command on the last day after the final walkthrough. And then I submit everything. So I uh, copied in the chat the master folder link, but I'm going to show you guys that as well, just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, uh, Alfredo, can you allow me to share my screen, please? Thank you, sir. Okay. You can see that, right, Sean? Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. Can you see me still? I can still see you. Oh, good. Last time I was so like just blanked out. I didn't even look at anyone. It was like a, it was very scary. Um, this is my second time. And so I'm back with the vengeance. vengeance. Okay. So the uh, resources, this is our master folder. And this has all of the office disclosures and different checklists that we need for any transaction. So the one for leases um, looks just like, I'll show it to you guys real quick. It's pretty easy. It just goes through everything that you need and it's kind of uh, broken down uh, listing agreement, the actual lease and then disclosures and then additional items that you may have. So this is kind of where I go to make sure that I've done everything that the office needs to get the lease approved. I go off of this checklist. I do the same thing for a purchase or a sale. Uh, there's also a checklist for that. So these I have saved to my desktop and I always, I find everything in a folder um, that I keep in my file folder. And I put this on top of the folder and kind of check off everything that's in it. That's just a way that I keep my records paper. And then I also do it all digitally on an external hard drive. So that in case my computer ever dies, I've always got everything saved to an external hard drive, not just my desktop. So this is the checklist. Um, and then also uh, for leases, you're gonna see there are two, where are they? There's the, there are office ones right here. These two guys right here, these are office disclosures specific for our office for a lease. You're gonna need to include those as well. And those are, if we go back, Disclosures again. Remember, this is the this is the master folder um, for our office. Under disclosures, you're going to see leases. There's two in here, and one is the lease money disposition. This is just kind of outlining the intake of money and the disbursement of money, um, so that um, the office is clear on how that's supposed to be processed. Now, um, I'm going to show you a little bit later how I I don't have like Adobe. Um, because it's really expensive and I'm poor, uh, not really, but um, to edit PDFs, like obviously this is not a filled out form and it's not something that's on car where you can fill it out and save it. So I just dropped this into DocuSign. Actually, I'll just do that because it's going along with the train of thought right now. So the way that I edit my PDFs is I drop in the DocuSign and I... Sorry, there's windows everywhere. So some things it's a little bit hard to click on. I have to move stuff around. So this is my little workaround for not having like fancy pants Adobe subscription. So if you go to sign a document, you can upload. Let's see. Hold on a second. Thought I had it all ready to go. Oh, I did have it all ready to go. All right. Let me just get to, I have like an example already read, ready for this one, 88. This is a lease that I just did that we're practicing with today. Okay, perfect. So I saved, help if I had glasses on, okay. 
So I've attached that PDF to sign in DocuSign. When I click on sign, it's gonna pull up the document. You're used to seeing this, I'm sure. You upload things to send for signatures, things like that. There's over here, you can go to text and you can drop in your little text box. 11, 12. Right, you can do all of your, if you wanna add property address, blah, blah, blah. Also a little cheat that I just started doing the other day is with my PED forms. I, um, if I have like five showings in one day and I just wanna have my client sign the PED form and I leave the address blank, you can drop this little text box, box in, just be like, Rick is amazing. And then whenever you go to print, it's gonna already have that. So you can like do five at a time. Like if, and the way that I do this, I go to print, save as PDF, and then I'm gonna save it to, you know, whatever in the folder that I'm working with. Cool. And then it's, that's like super, I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner, but I did that the other day for like five and I was so grateful that I figured that little cheat out. So, um, when you click back, you'll see you can go back in and then just like change it to a new one without having to save and add another one in. It's like super, super easy. Anyway, you get the idea. That's how I add um, text to this form or anything that I need to add something to that um, after the fact, I just upload the PDF and do it through DocuSign. Okay, cool. And then uh, if you were filling this all out like normal and putting all of this information in, you go to finish, no thanks to send it to me. It's super easy to just drop back in. This is kind of like showing you how to use DocuSign, but I'm sure you already know how to do this kind of stuff. But just in case your most recently completed thing pops up right there, open that up. It's right here. Got what I added earlier. Save it as PDF when it's completed and then that's done. Okay, cool. Let me get out of. Oh my God, there's windows everywhere that are in the way of buttons. Okay, so we're good with, those are the least disclosures that are specific to our office. That's uh, DocuSign, how I edit things. Now we've, let's say we've, we've done all of our stuff for our lease. We have all of our documents. We're ready to upload to command. Um, actually backtrack. We've signed our listing agreement and we want to create the opportunity in command. So you go to agent.kw.command. Now, important, uh, important first step is you, uh, when you're creating an opportunity in command, you need to have a contact saved to create that opportunity. So the first step is you're going to go to contacts and you're going to input the name of the landlord, for instance, and also the tenant since uh, in this example, I'm doing a dual representation lease. And so I'm going to put in a name right now for both. Uh, okay, add contact. This is going to be Michael Spitzen. He's going to be our landlord today. And then you can fill all of this information out if you want to really, you just need the name to do the opportunity. So that's going to be, Michael's going to be my landlord. And then I'm going to go ahead and add Alfredo Petska is going to be our tenant. So we've got Michael Spitzen and Alfredo Petzen. This is a very, this is going to be a really fun lease. All right. Okay, so I've input it, I've input my contacts for my transaction, my tenant and my landlord. Now you want to hover down to create the lease. So which one? It's hands. Opportunities. Create an opportunity. You're gonna click there. Everyone's good so far. Sean, I'm not going too fast, am I? You're my only guy I got here. You're good. Okay, and there's a couple more. Welcome guys to the class. Um so create my opportunity, Beverly Hills. What is, what kind of opportunity is this? It's a lease. So you're either, if let's say in this example, I'm showing you dual representation. If I was just uploading, say you represented the buyer for a lease, 
you're just gonna click on tenant. You're, it's a little confusing on uh, the name of the opportunity because like you look down here, you see listing buyer, you don't see rental, right? It's either landlord or tenant. So that's what you wanna use for your rentals, landlord or tenant. So I'm gonna do the landlord information first. My client was Michael Spitzen. It's going to give you an opportunity name. I'm going to change it to the address that this was, 8867 Cynthia Street. And then I already know, like I came in here, it's 11, it's November 12th. I know I'm going to close it on November 12th. You could put it on if you know the date, you just need to, the more information, the better. Okay, so the lease price is 6,000. Commission is, yeah, math. So remember, I'm doing just the, this is the landlord side. So I'm gonna, 6% commission, I'm just gonna do 3%. No, sorry, you saw that. That would have been a really, really bad lease. 2160. Gonna make your life so much easier later. Opportunity phase. We're gonna put this as active applications. And then create. So we're good there. Landlord Michael Spitzen. Remember, I'm doing dual representation, but I've got to do two different opportunities. I've got to do one for the landlord and one for the tenant. That's why I have a 6% commission, even though I'm dual representation. I only put 3% here because this is my opportunity that's only for the landlord. Um, create opportunity. Now I'm here. Okay, so you're going to see under documents, I want to do, sorry, custom folders, uh, check, you're going to go to pick checklist type. Sorry. Documents. This is where I want to start uploading my documents. Checklist type residential. Okay. So that's going to populate all of the stuff not all the stuff, sorry, all, all of the tabs for folders uh, with documents in them that I need to submit for my lease, okay? So there are three here. There's listed, under contract, and closed. These are from the checklist that I showed at the beginning. All of these documents are represented here, except for some of the optional forms are not listed on the lease checklist from the master folder. So listed is my lease listing agreement. This is super easy guys. Like all you've got to do, it's annoying. Like it's annoying when someone says it's super easy but you're learning it. So it's going to be super easy after you watch this class. All of this stuff is already populated. You're going to just click on add a file. It's going to ask, it's going to, this is what you're uploading, lease listing agreement. Browse your files, click that. That's gonna pull you into the folder wherever you have it saved. Access your folder that has all of your executed documents and then you're just gonna drop them in here. 8867 lease agreement. That's not, that's the lease agreement but I'm looking for listing agreement. Well, we'll pretend. Okay, so we're gonna, that's pretend that says listing agreement. Open it. You're gonna assign it. And then now you see it's kind of like teal here. That 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 file has been, that document has been attached to this little place, okay? Now I wanna find the CCPA for my landlord. Browse. I, I label everything to coincide kind of with what's here. So it's really, really easy for me to just scroll down after I've saved everything that's fully executed, signed by buyer and seller, tenant and landlord. And you're gonna do this for each folder of the three, the listed, bam, those two are done. Now under contract, I'm looking for the um, rental agreement actually, right? Bed bug disclosure, TFHD, all of this stuff, I wanna just 
put in here what I need. And you're going to see now we're down to some of the uh, optional stuff. Um, put in your PED. That's one that's down here. Uh, see, you see down there optional. You don't have to have these things to do it. But everything else you need to have for them to approve your folder and to get paid. So after you've done all of this stuff, This is one of the three folders completed. You're gonna go to submit to Market Center. Once you click that button, then uh, it's gonna go to the office. Michael's gonna review the folder and then everything gets approved and then you get your check in a couple of days after you've dropped off your cashier's checks, of course, to the office. So the way that I usually do it is I will come home and probably submit all of this stuff the day that I get the check from the final walkthrough. I'll come home, submit all of my documents, run the checks to the office, and then I'm just waiting a couple of days to get my check back. That's like the easiest way it works. That's how I do it. You know, you could go and drop your check off and then um, come home and do your documents. But if I've done my documents, then I can be really excited when I see Alfredo and be like, hey, I've already submitted all this stuff. I'm just dropping off the check. It makes it easier for me. So submit to Market Center. You want to do that for all three folders. The under contract one, after you've uploaded all of this, and the closed folder. Now, you're not done. Just because these three folders, that's the first step. You also need to submit your commission tab to the office. And it's going to ask you, there's things that are highlighted in red here that you can't submit it until you fill those out. So make sure you come to this commission tab, edit the general information. You're going to go to lease signed, you know, whatever day it was, the 10th, occupancy date, the 10th save changes now once you've done uh oh did i miss a big step no i'm not gonna say that out loud um you sorry guys under details i forgot a whole thing that's embarrassing right now so uh i didn't go to select from listings and sorry major confusion now i'm going to get super nervous um but either way i would have found this out by you know going through the process and getting to oh it's not gonna let me submit that until i do it so you come in here and find your listing if you're representing the landlord it'll pull up and then you just attach it whoa that made me really nervous <laughs> obviously that listing's already been archived so i'm not going to be able to pull it up but when you're representing the landlord side, you will have access to the listing. So you have to go in and do this to link it to your opportunity. Are we good so far? Did I, did I, did I freak you out, Sean? I'm not freaked out. I'm good. Okay, good. Don't be freaked out. Let me see if I can see who else. I have else. a quick question. Yeah, who is this? Uh, this is Ellie. Hi, Ellie. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you. What's your uh, question? I have my first uh, listing, um, it's a sale on, uh, on Sunday. We're gonna sign up paperwork and stuff. And do I have to put all this information here? I'm sorry, because I missed the, the beginning of the class. That's what I'm asking. So you're looking to, you're wanting to upload your documents for your, for your uh, listing? Yeah, once we sign up paperwork on Sunday that we're going to do it. It's going to be my first listing, that's what I'm asking. And I've been in the office just for the first two weeks, so I don't know. Oh, well, welcome do to I the office, first of all. Give me one Please second please. and I'll go back and review that really quickly. But also, Alfredo recorded this, so you'll be able to watch the beginning of the class later. But let me just okay, finish great. this last part and then I'll go into you. Yeah, no problem. Um, Thank you. Yeah, of course. So... Okay, so remember documents, our three folders have been, all of our documents added. We've submitted to the market center. We've gone to the commission tab and then we've, uh, we have our listing attached for the landlord. Then we submit our commission. Those four things are what has to be submitted to the office in order to get paid, right? So then we're gonna go back and create the opportunity. So we did the landlord. Now we're gonna go back home we're gonna do, and also Ellie, I might be able to tie in the answer to your question here. Let me just see. So click on opportunities, Ellie, yes. So uh, when you have your documents, 
your uh, your listing agreement ready to upload. You're gonna want to create an opportunity, which is where we're at here. But before you create an opportunity, you need to add a contact first to link that opportunity for. So whoever Mr. Seller is that you're representing on your listing, go into contacts, add the contact, and you only need to put their first and last name. You don't. You, the more information you put, the better, but you at least need to have the name in there so that you can link it to the opportunity that you're going to create. So you've entered, Ellie, you've entered in your seller. Everyone else, we entered in our tenant earlier. We're going to go to create opportunity. Okay. You, you, are you good with that, Ellie? Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. This class is geared a little more towards leases, but command is so user friendly that most of the the uh, principles translate to any transaction as far as uploading documents. It's all kind of the same blueprint. Okay. So, so now we're working on our tenant um, opportunity, create opportunity. And uh, Ellie, this is where on your opportunity, you would just select listing. I was telling them it's a little confusing on leases. Um, well, not really confusing, but it doesn't say lease, so it's not as obvious. Listing side, buyer side, and then if you're taking a listing for a lease, you're going to click landlord. And if you're submitting information for the tenant, you're going to click tenant. These two are for leases. These are for uh, purchases and uh, sales. So uh, we're doing our tenant opportunity for Cynthia, and we did Alfredo Petska. So that's the name I entered earlier. I'm going to plop that in there. Estimated close date was yesterday. Lease price, 6000 We're going to upload. Remember, we're doing the same. It's the same stuff we did earlier for the uh, landlord. What was that? was 2000 something, but let me do it again. So take your lease, lease price times 12 months, and then I'm going to times that by 3%. 2160. Even if I know it, I will still put it in the calculator just to like make sure. Um, this is an active. And it's a little different for tenants. We're going to um, application submitted because I've already got all of their stuff. I'm just ready to enter in their last stuff. We're going to create that. Okay. Same thing for the tenant. We're going to go to documents, checklist type, residential. Now, because we created the opportunity as a tenant, we only have, we don't have the three folders, all the listing information, all the stuff that you would have for the listing side. So it, the system already knows because we created our opportunity as a tenant, not a buyer. So if you if you have a, a if you're representing just a tenant and you look don't look for the three folders you're just looking for one it's super easy so you just have this one folder that has this information remember I showed you how to upload CCPA manual come down here CCPA assign it Ellie if you didn't see how I attached a document earlier that was for you so now you see that the document is shown as done here and then it's a little button little thing here says uploaded so once you guys upload all of this stuff things that you have that are optional go ahead and upload them but if you don't have them you don't need them if it says optional um once everything is filled out on here you'll click submit to market center and remember you still have to do the commissions tab so you're always going to have commission tab and then either one or three folders over here depending on if you're representing the tenant or the landlord. Um, let me just see, I made a little list to make sure I didn't forget anything. Does anybody have any questions so far? Oh, Ellie, on the, uh, you, you, I think you were in the class by this time, but whenever you come to your commissions tab, this is pre-populated from whenever we created the opportunity, but it's still gonna want you to give just this last bit of information. Whatever's read, it's gonna want you to fill out. So um, occupancy date, 11-11, lease signed, 11-11, make a wish. And then property on this one, Bo 
Commission, and then we're ready to go. Missing property information. What that's what did I not put in there? Does anyone have questions yet? Or anything extra? No. What if, oh my God, I got lost. I can't find my opportunity. That happens too. And it's, and I'm going to show you how to find it. So we're going to go back. Opportunities. Leases. See, I have three under active. Well, okay. Let's just say just for fun, I want to find, I want to access my landlord opportunity for the Cynthia street lease. I'm going to click on active. I, over here on type, drop down to landlord. Then I'm gonna see this right here. And how did, I had this the other day. I think I was too zoomed in to move. Yeah, there's a couple of other ones over here. I just have everything zoomed in because I'm as blind as a bat working on my <laughs> monitor. So you just gotta zoom out to see the other folders here. So this is, uh, that's the real one. I got to move it to complete it. So I'm an, under applications. Click on that one. This is my landlord folder. Again, I can go back to documents. If I forgot to, if I got blocked out, had to go back in and upload. That's how you get back to your opportunity. Now, leases. I want to go back to because it was asking for property information, and I don't want you guys to hate me for not showing you something. This is my tenant here, details, property here, edit right here, and then just put in, I think it's, it's easy. You don't have to link it through, um, I think in the landlord opportunity, that's linked to maybe KWLS because it had pictures of my listing. So, but you're representing the tenant. So theoretically, it might pull directly from the MLS, but anyway, I'm, I, my, Hypothesis is that we just have to type out the address information here for the tenant side for that to fulfill that requirement under the tab for commissions. Yes, so we're good. So super easy, just click submit on commission, make sure your folders under documents are submitted. And then you're just waiting for uh, one of our lovely um, people to email us and say your check's ready to come and pick up. So who has, who's with us now? Annette, hi Annette. And Michael's here. Cool. Sean, do you have any questions? Does anyone have any questions about uploading documents to command? Um, anything for me about command or opportunities uploading documents? I do not have a question um, about that. But real quick sidebar, are you yeah. also representing the neighbors of that Cynthia house? Am I what? Are you the uh, are you the seller's agent for the for the neighbor's house? Yeah. Do you want to come and buy it? No, but now I think I have met you before when I was still like taking my training courses because oh. I live around the corner and I stopped by on an open house one time. Wait, was this about a year ago? This was probably when I had it for lease. Yep. Yeah, it yes. was a year ago. Nice. Well, you obviously you passed your test and made it to the best office in the state. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Was I nice? I usually am nice. Yes, you were good. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Yeah, no, it's for sale. Bring me a buyer. I'll try. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, it's a it's a pretty it's a really sweet house. You, well, you saw it when you were there last year. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Ellie, did I answer, do you feel good about uploading your opportunity for your listing? Yes, yes, thank you so much. Yeah, I've been playing with commands since last week. So yeah. I got the contacts I had and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I feel more confident now with the, uh, I even know to, in order to get paid and all that, I was needing to use command. I was taking it like, oh, it's just a tool. 
uh, but it's good, good to know that it's that important. Yeah, and Ellie, are you, are you a new agent or just new to our office? No, I'm a new agent. Oh, welcome, welcome. Yeah, a lot of, now sometimes a lot of agents, uh, they'll have a, a transaction coordinator do their documents for them. Um, I don't do that because I'm just, I'm way too obsessive and I would just double check a TC anyway. So I would just be like wasting money for it. Mm -hmm. But so, but all of that to say is that um, Blake has a ton of videos for anything about command. And I, I would encourage you to at least your first three deals do your own uploading of documents just so that you become familiar with command and you get a, and you see all of the documents and that way if someone asks you about something you've seen it before you've dealt with it you know I, I would suggest so it's good that you're doing that for your first one yes yes I, I want to even though I have a mentor and he's very helpful I have, I'm with Justin working with him I oh, nice. want to do it myself so I can, you know, in the future, I won't be related right. to him constantly. Right. It's good to have that sense memory of touch, knowing where it is, you know, because at four o'clock when your client calls you, your TC's, gonna, <laughs> they're going to be sleeping. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Very helpful. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, guys, feel free to, uh, here, I'll put my cell phone and my email address. If you need anything at all, I'm always around. And I'm happy to help you. If I know the answer, that's great. If I don't know the answer, I will find it out for you. And that's it. I think, um, let's see. Command, I think, yeah, yeah. opportunity. Uh -huh. I think that's it, Alfredo. Anything that you that are you there, Alfredo? Yeah, I'm here. Is there is there anything that's come up with command or documents that that's been a continuing issue that I could try to help with, or do you think I covered what they what everyone wanted for today? I mean, the the first thing I can think of is like just creating an opportunity. That's like the number one thing. Just start there. What, uh, can you say one more time? One second. One second. Yeah, so um, what we hear a lot is just um, agents actually getting it started. So just creating the opportunities as the first step because they have no idea like what that means or what that what that looks like. And so just the opportunity is the most important part and then they can move on from there. Right, okay, cool. And we did that. And let me, um, and uh, Ellie, you, you'll do yours. I showed you how to, I mean, if you, if, we, if you want, I can look at a, well, full disclosure, it's been a busy, lease year for me this year so it's been a minute since i've looked at a listing folder but it's all the same in terms of populating oh let me show you uh, what am i thinking here let's go back to this one okay you guys can see that right there is I'm going to paste the link again for the master folder for anyone that came in after we started. Um, how do I? Oh, God, I don't know how to get back to the chip. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. That's the link for the master folder that has all of the checklists and disclosures. So there's uh, one in here also for residential. So again, this is a great, great first place to start, whether you're doing a great place to start when you're uploading your documents to command, either for a sale or a purchase is get into these checklists and make sure that this is going to be like your guiding light gather all of these. Actually, I'll show you guys how I, one second. This was how my mentor taught me and she's fantastic and amazing. So I'll show you guys how I coordinate all of this stuff. 
I start with, I get these little folders at Staples that you can add. They've got, a, and a, you need a two hole puncher, but I keep my checklist here and I add things as I've completed them and I highlight them off the checklist. So I know what I've submitted and, and what I haven't submitted and what's done. So that's a good place to start for your organization is these checklists, but the uploading the documents on command, just make sure that you're selecting either buyer, seller, um, tenant or landlord, and that will open up the uh, folders for you to input all of your documents from your checklist. And then uh, just remember to add your contact first into command before you try to create the opportunity. Otherwise, uh, you'll be wondering, you know, where you're, why you can't upload your opportunity. So I think that's, uh, that's all I have. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get back to, to Zoom to see you guys. Um, you saw my my folder, right, Sean? I can see you now, Sean. You got you saw that part, right? Sorry, this is my second class. Some of this stuff is a little wild, but um, these are super duper helpful. Very helpful way to keep everything. And I'll do, um, and I also give my clients one of these after a sale or a um, purchase, so that they have all of their executed documents in a nice bound folder. I put a rubber band over it so it stays together. And this is all of their stuff in order. I do it, you know, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm telling you. Like I, I would drive a TC nuts actually. So they probably are glad that I don't call, call them to do my stuff because it, it would just be bad. But um, I think that's it. Um, again, feel free to uh, text me, email me, call me if you need something. Um, outside of this class, or if you want me to reiterate and help you out with something, I'm happy to, I'm happy to do that. And um, if you're new, um, honestly, Blake can send you a video for anything on command. Super helpful. He is like the wizard of the whole company. So we're in a great office and we've got a great support team. Um, it, it's really exciting. And command is just getting easier and easier and easier. When this was on dot loop, this was, it was a nightmare. So you guys are lucky that you're coming in with this now. This is way too easy. So happy to help though if you need it. Otherwise, guys, have a great day and um, I'll see you around. Thank you, Alfredo. I appreciate you guys letting me do the class. I hope it was helpful to you guys. Thanks, Rick. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Okay, so